Hello students. Today we are going to discuss uh, the, the chemicals, some important chemical properties of uh, aromatic aldehyde and ketone and the preparation properties of carboxylic acid. In the last class already we discussed the chemical properties of aldehyde and ketone but uh, the specific uh, chemical properties of aromatic aldehyde and ketone is not discussed. We will discuss today that uh, we know aldehyde or ketone, aromatic aldehyde or ketone if you see the structure this is your aldehyde This is your aromatic aldehyde, this is aromatic aldehyde, this is aromatic ketone. This is for general called as acetophenone, this is benzaldehyde. But we know aromatic compound, all aromatic compound shows electrophilic substitution reaction due to availability of pi electron. Here it shows electrophilic substitution reaction, but you see what, what is the position, whether ortho par or beta. You see the resonance. If you see the resonance of H1, as aldehyde or ketone group is containing carbonyl group, carbonyl group is electron withdrawing group, so partial that is here positive charge is formed, similarly here positive charge is formed. Similarly, in case of ketone also same the resonance, here positive charge is formed, then like this, here positive charge is formed. So ortho position, this is ortho position. This is para position. So ortho and para position getting more positive charge. If we getting more positive charge, then electrophile will attack at meta position compared to ortho and para electron density meta position is more. So in both case, if you use electrophile, so the product will be the result will be mainly suppose this is aldehyde or ketone. The product will be meta meta substituted product. Meta substituted product will be for because ortho para getting more positive charge by resonance. So what are the electrophilic substitution reaction of aldehyde and ketone? Already you know, let us discuss this thing. Suppose you take this, let you take aldehyde. If you take aldehyde, this is your aldehyde. If you use what are the electrophilic substitution? Halogenation of a Cl2 and aluminium chloride, the result will be this is the product. Chlorine will act as meta position. Then if you take syn sulfonation, the result will be at meta position. So 3H meta position sulfonation. Then if you do nitrogen, nitric acid and sulfuric acid, if you both use the product will be nitro derivative. Alkylation, acylation also same. If you take CS3, Cl and aluminum chloride, that is free alkylation, the result will be like this. Isolation. CS3, CO, Cl and aluminum chloride. The product will be CHO and CO, CS3. So, this is the main five electrophilic substitution reaction that is halogenation, sulfonation, alkylation. Nitration, acylation. Okay, so this is again some electrophilic substitution reaction of aldehyde and ketone. All product will be meta substituted product. Next important thing is how can you prepare carboxyl acid? The preparation of carboxyl acid that uh, we know carboxyl acid.
if you do structure of carboxylic acid, all carboxylic acid contain this carbonyl group and OH group. This group is called carboxyl group, carboxyl acid group or carboxyl group. And here this group also contains carbonyl group like your aldehyde ketone. But if you see the reaction, some reaction also similar, some reaction, but if you see the uh, property of carboxylic it is not similar with aldehyde and ketone because this acid group has resonance. Carboxylic group has resonance. Due to resonance, the double bond character of carbonyl group breaks. Then it loses the double bond nature due to resonance. That's why carboxylic acid does not give aldehyde ketone test that is like aldehyde ketone it does not give this test because it loses the double bond nature carbonyl double bond character it loses due to resonance but uh, how can we prepare this carboxylic acid carboxylic acid generally is called as alkanoic acid alkanoic acid generally in aromatic compound it is called benzoic acid Generally, it is called as benzoic acid. Benzoic acid is also called as benzene carboxyl carboxyl acid. This is called benzene and carboxyl acid. It is also you can tell benzene carboxyl acid or benzoic acid. That is IPC name and the common name. Benzoic acid is a common name, but generally we are using also benzoic acid as a what IPC name also. Okay, then how can we prepare? some carboxyl acid that uh, we can prepare carboxyl acid from if you do you see the preparation preparation of RCOH carboxyl acid can be prepared from alcohol from alcohol from aldehyde from ketone we can prepare but only the method is oxidation method only the method is oxidation if you take RCH2OH oxidation by KMNO4 acidified KMNO4 acidified KMNO4 result is RCOH acid similarly if you take aldehyde same MnO4 result will be RCOH. If you take ketone, then result will be if you break this position, this will be one acid, acid one plus remaining will be acid two. Acid one, acid two will form. First member, one lower member acid always produce that is your acetic acid always. Acetic acid is the first member of first product of ketones and remaining the number of carbon atom in the device. So ketone undergo oxidation produce two acids, acid 1 and acid 2. So this is regarding the preparation of carboxylic acid from alcohol. Carboxylic acid can be prepared from cyanide, nitrate. If you use nitrate, you undergo hydrolysis. Acid hydrolysis product will be acid plus ammonia. This is very important. Cyanide nitrate, this is called nitrate. Nitrate undergo hydrolysis produce acid. Then we can prepare acid from that uh, try. If try that is R C H C L C L C L here trichlor from tri trichlor alkane if you want to know hydrolysis using K O S try Hello, alkane when undergo hydrolysis produce 
OH, OH, and OH substitution. But three OHs cannot remain in one carbon. It is just water molecule. So, product will be acid. Very, this is very important reaction. The trihalocane when undergo hydrolysis, that is base hydrolysis, it will produce acids. So, this is very important that. But the result will be formed in the form of salt, but it is the part of acid as a salt of acid. So, this is one method also preparation of calus acid from trihaloalkane. Other methods you can prepare from Grignard's reagent if you use R, Mg, X using carbon dioxide. The first product will be R, C, then O double bond will be one side, then O, Mg, X, first product attached to carbon. Then second on hydrolysis, already you know, second step always hydrolysis. So product will be R, C, O, X plus M, G, X and O, X. So this is also one important method of preparation of carbon acid from Grignard's reagent using carbon dioxide. Then carbon acid can be prepared from hydrolysis of ester or acid derivative. If you take ester, undergo hydrolysis, produce acids plus alcohol. This is called hydrolysis of ester. If you take acid halide, hydrolysis product R C O H plus H X. If you take acid anhydride, hydrolysis. These are very important tricks to get the acid from corresponding acid derivative. Product will be R C U H two molecule form. If you take acid amide, this is for ester. This is acid halide. This is acid anhydride. This is acid amide. Already you know this. On undergo hydrolysis, product will be acid plus ammonia. So these are very important methods of preparation of carbon acid from what? From acid derivative. Organic acid can be prepared. Organic acid you can prepare organic acid by oxidation of KMnO oxidation by KMnO4 acidic medium and the result will be acid. This is benzoic acid. So carboxylic acid can be prepared, aromatic carboxylic acid can be prepared by the oxidation of aromatic alkene. Aromatic alkene, but one condition is it should have one hydrogen atom. That is the carbon must attach, must contain one hydrogen. If it has no hydrogen, suppose this one. If there is no hydrogen attached to carbon attached to benzene, then it cannot be if you take KMnO4 and H plus there will be no reaction. No acid will be or it cannot be oxidized because it is a strong bond or CC bond is stronger bond cannot be oxidized by KMnO4. So this carbon, the carbon attached to benzene must contain hydrogen, then it will be easily oxidized to get corresponding acid but always result will be benzoic acid if it contains ethyl group same acid acid will be benzoic acid and the remaining will be formic acid it depends upon the formula if two carbon will be taken then benzoic acid and formic acid if three carbon will be taken benzoic acid and acidic acid so it depends upon the hydrocarbon taken so from we can prepare a seed using that KMnO4, oxidation of oxidation of hydrocarbon using KMnO4. So this is the one method of preparation, a seed, then
Similarly, if you take this one, if to H5, same oxidation, benzene two will be benzene acid plus remaining one carbon, that is carbonic acid. So, this is the important that of oxidation of aromatic hydrocarbon and producing corresponding acid. KMnO4 or potassium dichromate also you can use. So this is about the preparation of carboxylic acid. Then next class we will discuss the physical and chemical properties of carboxylic acid and its derivative that ester and acid anhydride, acid amide, acid halide. Okay, thank you all.